Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 49. So we've been talking about designs that you can create inside of our designs applet. You might have created something for social media, maybe a postcard print asset, a video, something for, you know, maybe you uh, did one of our uh, email templates yesterday. And now you've got a bunch of things happening inside of designs that you want to organize. Today's video, we're going to talk about creating custom folders inside of WeBrand via the designs applet and organizing those design templates. So let's start off by going into our designs uh, applet here and clicking on the paintbrush. And we're going to open the applet and to get into our folders, we do need to click on create design. It doesn't matter which one of these you choose, but I'm going to go ahead and choose social and then next. And you will see <clears throat> that's going to open up the WeBrand editor. We've seen this screen before, whether we were doing, um, you know, email templates, print templates, social templates, it's the same screen. But we want to go up here to the My Designs tab. You'll see when we click on the My Designs tab that we now have the ability to see all of our designs and then if you'll note on my screen, you're gonna see some folders here at the top. You may not have these, but you should have this button that says new folder. So this is your way to create folders where you can actually put your assets inside of them. So you can see lately I've been doing a lot of stuff for my maps coaching. And let's say I wanted to create a new folder for all of my maps coaching assets. I'm just gonna call this new folder maps coaching. I'll click on okay. And you'll see it creates the new folder here. Now I can move the folder around to put that, oops, I just dropped it inside. So you can put folders inside of folders, as you can now see. And we're gonna take that back out. And then you'll see the Maps Coaching folder here. So if I want to, I can click on the three dots and you can see I can rename a folder or delete it. And then I also have the ability to open that folder just by clicking inside of it. You'll see it says I've got no designs yet. To add designs to this folder, it's just a matter of clicking on a design and then dragging it to that folder. You'll see the folder gets highlighted in blue. And once I let go, that design is then dropped into that folder. So you can see I can just go and drop in all of these maps, coaching templates, and boom, here I am storing everything that I need. Now that I've put several in there, I can click on maps coaching and you can see all of the templates that I've created recently for maps all inside of that folder. So you may want to create a folder for a specific listing if you have a, a social post and then uh, maybe you're running a couple of different ads. So you have the, the ad content you created, right? The actual picture or design for the ads. Uh, maybe you have got something else that, you know, you've got something going for Instagram and then something that's going on Facebook and then the ad, those would all be different designs. Maybe you've got a just listed, just sold postcard you want to send out. Maybe it's an open house flyer. You can imagine all the different types of templates you might have for a specific address. You could create one folder and put all of those templates into that same folder with regards to that address. You can actually see I've got a couple of those already created. So that's uh, inside of the designs applet. Once you get into the WeBrand side of things, you will see Again, the ability to create new folders and then actually access those folders and see all of the templates inside of it. That's it for today, guys. The 66 day challenge, day 49, creating KW design based folders. Hope everyone's having a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.